So I'm just picking up Nathan now. He's got Peggy in the car and he's just getting all of his stuff into the car. And we're on our way up to the Isle of Skye, which is quite far, it's about four and a half hours. We've had a real nightmare this morning with our rental car. Rental cars are never easy, that's what I've learned. There's always a problem. So we've spent about two and a half hours fixing that problem. We're ready to go, the stress is over. So we're gonna get on the road. Uh, and I'm excited to go to the Isle of Skye because I've never been before. So I'm very looking forward to showing you all that beautiful place. I know it's amazing. Nathan just backing the car. <laughs> we always overpack as well, which is a bit of a nightmare, but it's nice to have options when you're traveling. Lots of clothes, lots of coats, and trying to cover all eventualities with the weather as well. So yes, we're gonna get going and I'm excited. So please join us on the journey or maybe we'll see you when we get there. So I had to just stop off and show you one more thing. This is Eileen Doonan Castle, which is quite famous here in Scotland. And as we were driving along, it suddenly just came into view. So I thought, wow, we just have to stop. It is about quarter past seven in the evening. So the light's fading out, but this is just the perfect spot. And just how incredible is that amazing light just coming from behind the structure there and glistening onto the water and then the clouds which are just enormous it is absolutely exquisite so i thought i have to show my wonderful youtube audience this amazing place because it's something that i've seen a lot but i've never been here and actually seen it with my own eyes so this is a very special thing to see really breathtaking actually so i wanted to stop off and show it to you now how beautiful. Scotland really is just one of the most beautiful places on earth. It is stunning. Surrounded by this glorious landscape, this mountainous landscape, beautiful water, and just the most incredible light and sky. Eileen Doonan Castle. Good morning from Kinloch Lodge. We got here last night at about eight o'clock. It wasn't dark yet. No, it was just getting dark. And because it was quite late when we arrived, we got there a lot later than expected. We had a dinner straight away, which was absolutely delicious. This is a very well-known restaurant here and a famous chef. So I had lamb. Uh, Nathan had a a salmon starter and then he had uh, aubergine. So the food here is beautiful and we couldn't really see the view because it was getting dark. We went to our room, uh, had a good sleep. This morning we've had breakfast, but now we've woken up to this incredible view. Can you see? It's so beautiful, uh, so peaceful, so quiet. And this is just a haven. I love this kind of thing. Scotland is uh, a place that is, has my heart. I'll probably say that quite a lot in these videos and I'll probably keep repeating myself, but I do tend to get a little bit uh, overwhelmed and at the beauty of everything. So yes, this is a very beautiful lodge and the views are sublime. I'm just overlooking this little lock here and the light on 
the back is pretty incredible. You see at the back there, wow. So yes, glad to be here in the Highlands, all kitted out in my autumn winter clothing. So that is nice. And we're gonna go for a little drive now and uh, do a little walk with Peggy and Sophie. Sophie, by the way, grew up in the Scottish countryside when I used to live there with my ex-partner. We lived on pretty much a similar thing to this, not with a lock, but it was a house overlooking Firth of Forth, which is a, a big expanse of water, and she was very used to being in the country. So when she comes back, she just seems to really relax and uh, be at home. She definitely feels act she's acting like she's at peace. So yeah, we're going to go for a walk and have a nice day. Let me just show you the dogs. Sophie and Peggy. Sophie, you ready to go for a walk? Ready to go for a little walk? So we're just taking a drive in the car on this beautiful autumnal day. And as you can see, the views are pretty incredible. We're driving along this lock and the mountains in the background, the sun when it shines through onto them makes this glistening portrait landscape, should I say, effect. And it is so beautiful. So we just thought that we would drive along this road and see if there were any nice spots to stop at along the route for some photos, videos, and just to take the dogs for a little walk. So that's what we're doing. And I'm sure there will be somewhere because it is just filled with beauty around here. And for me, it is so nice to be able to drive along these beautiful roads. I don't have a car in Edinburgh anymore. So to be able to drive, I enjoy driving. It's very fun. And I feel uh, it's like a little, a little adventure. We just stopped off at the side of the road to admire these gorgeous Highland cows. And the epitome of what you expect to see in the Highlands. With the sun shining on them with their brown and cream coats. It is just such a beautiful scene. And the views are just spectacular here. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous sunlight. Amazing view. I wanted to share that with you. So now I thought that I would give you a little quick tour around the lodge, Kinloch Lodge. You can see the views are absolutely stunning. Even on a cloudy day like this, it is incredibly peaceful here. So I'm just going to show you in the lodge, which is a Victorian lodge, uh, but it dates back to way before then. So let's go in and I'll show you around. Nathan's in there taking photos as usual, so you'll probably see him. But other than that, it's pretty quiet. All of the guests were having breakfast this morning. Lots of American tourists staying here, always very friendly and fun. So let's go in. Very charming, cozy, country house feel with layers of rugs and pictures and lots of personal items. So on the left here, we have a little dining breakfast room. This is where Nathan and I had breakfast this morning. Blue and white, which lots of people really love. And on the walls, we have some portraits and pictures and and out here, a really beautiful view of the lake and the grounds. So a lovely light-filled breakfast morning room. And I think you can also have dinner in here as well in the evening. Okay, on the opposite side, we have a lounge. This is a cozy room, painted red. And we've got some tea. And again, the view is pretty amazing out there. Yes, please. Godfrey MacDonald, 8th Lord MacDonald, 1947. And 
down this corridor. We have another beautiful lounge, sitting room, with a, a log burning stove, lots of comfortable armchairs, and all of the chairs and sofas facing the view, which is just beautiful. Oh, honestly, my heart just feels so at home in places like this. Scotland for me is in my heart forever, even though I'm not Scottish. And even though I do live in Edinburgh, I just think if I ever move, I'll always be drawn back because the sense of peace is just so lovely. And it is places like this where that is embodied so well and it just draws you in and makes you want to stay here and indulge in relaxation. So over here, there's something very interesting. This is Helen Home Banks, mother of Alexander, seventh Lord MacDonald. She's a very elegant lady, beautiful uh, cheekbones. <laughs> and then here we have a letter from Winston Churchill to Lord MacDonald. I have been considering the appointment of a successor to Cameron of Lochiel as Lord Lieutenant of Inverness Shire. I have it in mind to recommend your name to the King for this appointment, and I hope you will allow me to do so. I will take no steps in the matter until I hear that this is agreeable to you. Yours sincerely, Winston Churchill, 15th of December, 1951, from 10 Downing Street. How wonderful to have this history in your family home and to be able to share it with everyone. And that is the thing about these places, just history everywhere. And then on the other end of the room, in this locked cabinet, there is a letter from Queen Victoria. And the owner, Isabella, was telling me that they're really, they've had a real hard time trying to decipher what it says. I managed to figure out some of it. It says, Dear Lady MacDonald, it has given me great pleasure to receive your kind letter announcing the engagement of my dear goddaughter -da Victoria to Captain Anthony Abbey or something like that. Pray, pray, accept my best. And then it probably says something else on the next page. But how amazing. August the 3rd. Or July, July or August 3rd, 1886. Pretty incredible, right? So yes, this is a really special place. Beautiful, cosy, very Scottish, filled with family history. And there we have the dining room. They're just setting up for lunch and dinner, so I'll show you that another time. Um, but yes, a beautiful, beautiful place. And then I'll show you some of the bedrooms soon as well. Incredible morning here, Kinloch Lodge. Very autumnal, the sunlight and the leaves starting to just fall now, giving that golden crisp glow. You can see they're all on the floor. But I love this time of year and the light. It's so beautiful. It really is a magical place. About to have breakfast and then we're going to depart for our next destination but it's been such a lovely stay here and it will hold fond memories in my heart so we're just driving now from the Isle of Skye to the Isle of Ariska, from where we've both never been before. The weather's quite windy, the car's been blowing so I'm trying to drive very carefully, but now we've got some sunshine and you can see it's so beautiful. So yes, on the next leg of the journey, we've got about a three hour drive to get to Isle of Ariska, so we'll post when we get there.
so we are now at our newest destination which is called the Isle of Ariska Hotel. The journey here was really beautiful. Lots of winding roads, mountainous views and this is in the most secluded location I think I've ever been to. It is on its own island called the Isle of Ariska and you could literally be anywhere in the world. I don't think anyone would be able to find you here. If there was an ever, ever an apocalypse, this is where I would be coming because it is just so secluded and very, very uh, off the beaten track. So this is the hotel. We're not staying in the main building. We're staying in one of the cottages, which I will show you around later on. We've already been in there and we've got an amazing view uh, with a hot tub. Very modern, not really my taste, but it is beautiful. And this is a really gorgeous place, a real gem. So yes, we're here for two nights and then we're off to the Five Farms near Braemar. So yes, this is the newest location. So yeah, I thought that I would also come on camera because I haven't been on here. What's happened is uh, my microphone on my camera has broken. So I'm having to use my iPhone. Um, which is a bit of a nuisance. So yes, I'm using my iPhone. But yes, here we are. Gorgeous. I just wanted to show you the little cottage that we're staying in, which is just a two minute drive from the main hotel. And this is called Otter Hilltop 2. And this is a little cottage. So it's very sweet, very different to the hotel. So you come in here and this is a self-catering cottage. You've got a kitchen, very useful, very functional. We haven't cooked anything here, only made tea because we're dining at the hotel. But this is great if you wanted to spend like a week here. It's a great place to cook. You've got everything you need. And then you've got a gorgeous living area with a fire there and a TV, a little dining area. So yes, it's very nice, very beautiful, very peaceful. There's nobody around. It's completely private. All of these little cottages have their own separate little driveway so that it's completely private. Sophie feels very relaxed here. But the most beautiful thing about this little cottage is this terrace and the view that you get when you're out here. So just look at this. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous in the summer you can sunbathe faces south and you've got this incredible view of the island and I can zoom in and you can see just how pretty it is here so stunning isn't that amazing big huge skies the sun coming through glistening up to the water magic and the sense of peace here is just, you just can't be beaten. It's so peaceful and relaxing. And then here you have a hot tub, which we're not going to be using, and the deck. So a very, very peaceful place. Really would recommend to come here. It is really unique, totally something different to anywhere else that I've been, being on its own secluded private island, you just feel totally at peace, totally away from the rest of the world. It is quite a magical experience. So I wanted to share that. And again, I will just quickly say hello because you haven't really seen much of me on this video. Um, but so Nathan's took Peggy for a long walk around the island. Sadly, Sophie is a bit too slow to partake in that. She would never get round. She really just likes a very short walk. Uh, and I didn't bring her push chair because there was no room in the car. So we've had a little walk back from the hotel, about five minute walk. And we're just going to wait here for a little while. And then we're all going for dinner at 6.30, so in an hour. So that's what we're going to do. And then in the morning, we're leaving for the Five Arms. So another about three hour drive. So lots of driving, but totally worth it. It has been a magical trip so far. And the Scottish Highlands are just so glorious.
Well, hello everyone from the Five Farms. We've just arrived to our room, which is called the John Brown Room. Those of you who know about Queen Victoria will know that he was Queen Victoria's servant. He was a very special figure in her life. Some say that he might have been her lover after Prince Albert died. And when John Brown died, the Queen was devastated and really made a big um, gesture towards his life in the fact that she gave him a big memorials. So I think she gave him a really amazing gravesite at Balmoral and he was known as her special, special friend. So that is the room that we're in. It is very Victorian, really chic, not what I would do in my own home, but still really gorgeous and you can definitely appreciate the interior and the style. So let me give you a little look around. So yes, very Victorian in style, very heavy, dark, colours and fabrics, very Orient Express with these velvets on the on the sofa and the cushions with the gorgeous green tassels. Um, lots of textiles, we've got feathered lamps here, lots of textures in the furnishings, artwork. This hotel is really famous for its artwork because it's owned by Hauser and Worth and they have hundreds and hundreds of um, pictures here, really important artists like Picasso and they also have a Lucian Freud piece here which is one of my favourites. So a very beautiful place filled with artwork in the Highlands. The drive here was just spectacular. So we've got our luggage. We're only here for one night um, but we've had our luggage all week. So we're unpacking. Sophie's here. Uh, and then through here, we've got the bathroom. Again, very Victorian in interior style. The high cistern lavatory and sink. Lovely hand soap and um, body lotion there. Just very, very quirky. There's a picture of John Brown here on the wall. And then there is a little caricature of Queen Elizabeth II. It says Mrs Brown and you may recognise that as being Gordon Brown who was the Prime Minister of the UK in I think 2007. <laughs> so yes, a very unique hotel. I'm going to try and show you around a little bit more because it is very quirky and cool. There's lots to see, it's huge. Really interesting, massive four post bed. I've just felt the cushions, which is one of my favourite things to do, the pillows, and they are so, so soft and sublime. Looking forward to a good night's rest after driving. Beautiful garden here at the Five Arms. It's a lovely day, blue skies, quite crisp and cold, but it, it's such a beautiful hotel. Very, very stylish. They've done an amazing job with the whole Victorian theme. I'm trying to show you around without intruding on the other guests. So it is quite difficult to do that, but yes, the garden is pretty gorgeous. On the way home back to Edinburgh, today. So in here we've got quite a cool bar lounge area, very ski chalet, lots of nice tartans and um, check patterns, lovely sheepskin. So very beautiful for the autumn and winter, these colder months coming up. It's quite an impressive space and then through the windows have an amazing courtyard garden. It was very uh, aspen through there, which I guess is the vibe. Imagine when that fire is roaring, how gorgeous it would be. But just the tension to detail. Everything has just been so considered, even if it's not to your taste. It's so beautiful. I wanted to show you this. This is the drying room. So when you're out in the country, you need one of these. And I just thought this was so cool. 
and it's very very warm in here obviously because everything's got to dry so people have golf clubs jackets uh fishing equipment and then as you go through here oh, i love the stone floor you've got a boot room with all the wellies and everything that you'll need for walking so chic and stylish just look at that so gorgeous i love it I really do like this place. It's very, very cool and unique. So Nathan and I just enjoying a coffee outside the Five Arms with Peggy and Sophie. Uh, we're about to go and pack our luggage and then we're heading off uh, back home. We're gonna go up to Balmoral, which is about 20 minute drive just to see if we can get a good walk and some nice photos. And then we're gonna head back to Edinburgh. It's about two hours to get back to Edinburgh. I'm quite looking forward to sleeping in my own bed after five nights away. But yeah, it's been a beautiful trip and we've had a really great time. So uh, it's been lovely, really, really fun. I'm gonna try and find my microphone at home. I'm hoping that it's there. Otherwise I'm gonna have to replace it. Um, but I hope the sound has been okay on this video and you've been able to enjoy it.